Who is born today? January 10th. Pat Benatar, born 1953. Pat Benatar is an American singer and four-time Grammy Award winner, known for her powerful vocals and contributions to rock music. She gained recognition with hits like Hit Me With Your Best Shot and Love Is A Battlefield. Benatar is considered one of the leading female rock vocalists in the 1980s. Intriguing detail about her is that she is also a classically trained mezzo-soprano. George Foreman, born 1949. George Foreman is a former professional boxer and two-time heavyweight champion of the world. He gained recognition for his powerful punching and iconic bouts, including the Rumble in the Jungle against Muhammad Ali. Foreman later became a successful entrepreneur and ordained minister. An intriguing detail about him is that he made a comeback in boxing in his 40s, winning the heavyweight title again in 1994. Rod Stewart, born in 1945. Rod Stewart is a British rock singer and songwriter known for his distinctive, raspy voice and energetic performances. He gained recognition with hits like Maggie Mae and Do You Think I'm Sexy? Stewart has had a successful solo career and is also a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as part of the band Faces. An intriguing detail about him is that he has been knighted by Queen Elizabeth II for his services to music and charity. Jermaine Clement Jermaine Clement, born in 1974, is a New Zealand actor, comedian, musician, and half of the musical comedy duo Fight of Concords. He gained recognition for his work in the television series Flight of the Concords and his role in films like What We Do in the Shadows and Moana. An intriguing detail about him is that he has also provided the voice for various animated characters showcasing his versatile talents. Vincent Hudobro, born in 1893. Vincent Hudobro was a Chilean poet and literary figure known for being one of the pioneers of the literary movement known as creacionismo, creationism. His poetry was characterized by its innovative use of language and form, and he had a significant impact on Latin American literature. An intriguing detail about him is that he was not only a poet, but also a diplomat and a key figure in the cultural and political scene of his time. Buffalo Bill, who actually died January 10th, 1917. Buffalo Bill, whose real name was William Frederick Cody, was an American soldier, bison hunter, and showman. He gained fame for his Wild West shows, which toured the United States and Europe, featuring reenactments of frontier life and showcasing personalities like Annie Oakley. Buffalo Bill became a cultural icon and played a role in shaping the perception of the American West. Sean Colvin, born 1956. Sean Colvin is an American singer-songwriter known for her folk-inspired music and introspective lyrics. She gained recognition with her Grammy Award-winning song, Sonny Came Home. Colvin's music was also explores themes of love, loss, and self-discovery. An intriguing detail about her is that she has collaborated with various artists and contributed to soundtracks for film and television. George Surratt George Surratt, was a f born in 1859, was a French post-impressionist painter known for his innovative technique called pointillism. His most famous work is the painting A Sunday Afternoon on the Island of La Grande Jacques. Surratt's work of small dots of picture color to create a larger image was groundbreaking in the art world and influenced future generations of artists. Leave a comment below about how bad I butchered his name and butchered all the other French names too. Next comes Jazzy B, born in 1963. Jazzy B, whose real name is Bersiford Romeo, is a British DJ, music producer, and founding member of the influential music group Soul to Soul. The group gained recognition for their blend of soul, R&B, and electronic music, and their hit single, Back to Life, However Do You Want Me, won a Grammy Award. Jazzy B is a key configure in the development of British black music. Evan Handler, born in 1961. Evan Handler is an American actor, best known for his role in television series such as Sex in the City and Californication. He's also appeared in films and theater production. An intriguing detail about him is that, in addition to his acting career, 
Handler is an accomplished author, having written several books about his experiences with cancer and his journey in the entertainment industry. Tune in tomorrow to see who was born on January 11th and consider subscribing to the channel so you can see what famous person was born every day of the year. And as always, have a great day!